Too much water. Oh, no. oh, water oh, is it the pie that's leaking? Good boy. Uh, it is currently 8.30 a.m. Um, I thought I would just take you guys through my day. I'm a little tired today. I haven't been really sleeping well for the last couple of days. Um, yesterday I slept at 2 and then woke up a couple times throughout the night. Um, so we're starting the day a little late than usual, but let's get started because the baby is awake. That's your lion, bro. Bagel and me lasting a couple days. Oh, no. Peter, let's pray. They're dangerous food, dangerous day. Thank you for keeping us safe yesterday and watching over us always. We ask that you would continue to bless us and nourish this food to our bodies. And help us go out and be awesome. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job. Mmm. Ding dong. Ooh. We're in there. Are you lucky? Oh, there's a little water in there, Baba. What is this? Uh oh. Look. Uh oh. Mama's hand-eye coordination is not going well today. Look, look. Here, look, you can move it. You try. Okay. Bye. Sure, you gotta pick them up. Peter, put, pick them up, buddy. Okay guys, so while the baby is still napping, I'm gonna try to do my Chloe Teens two week challenge. I will post that video up once I finish it, kind of show you guys the before and after and how I feel about it. So stay tuned for that video. But without further ado, I gotta get this exercise in um, before I grab the baby. Be You got a lot of mouths to feed? Is that what you just said? Huh? Well, I'm hungry, so you obviously didn't feed me yet. We're probably gonna go out now. Um, go. Oh, yes, exactly. I had and then a. Get Peter to get some energy out. I had a brain fart well, just put, now. Did you put the milk in there? Yeah. So, don't you think it'll be humid? Well, I hope most of the humidity would have died out by uh, by the sun drying most of it up during the day. What he's saying is gotta be humid. All right, let's go. And I prepared this bag, and Peter decided to take everything out. So typical. It is super hot. But hopefully, it won't be that hot in the shade. What is that? Can you give me the rock? Hey, did you just fart? I didn't fart. Give me the rock. Thank you. Hello. You want the rock back? 
We just finished our walk. It's pretty nice. You would think that walking with a 19 month old would be really easy, but honestly, super hard because there's so many things that they could touch and then they start crying if they don't get a chance to touch it. Here we gotta go, Baba. For baby, we're actually gonna feed him this, which is seven bucks. I'm gonna eat this as a snack. Chili for actual dinner. But look at this whopper. Whopper, whopper. Wow, it looks really good. The question is, is it good? Sure. Looking good, it's half the battle. So just put the baby to bed not too long ago and took a shower. And I came down and found out we're having some kind of plumbing issue. We're not sure what's going on. Um, the toilet water keeps getting filled up. Oh. There's never a day in the Kim household where there isn't an issue with the house. But hopefully we can kind of figure out what's going on. Um, we took all the water out from the toilet um, that was filling back up. This happened yesterday and then I actually plunged it and everything seemed fine. Um, we were able to use the toilet, the shower, okay today. It's downstairs in the basement. Um, he told me there's water leaking into the basement. So he's trying to figure out how we can fix that problem and figure out what exactly is wrong. I'm hoping that we can figure things out and fix this before tomorrow um, because obviously using water is very essential, especially when you have a baby. So we'll see how this goes. He's freaking out right now, but I'm not a plumbing expert, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to wait to see uh, what his plan of action is and help out any way I can. Even like a couple of days ago, I was looking and I was like, this area looks like it was wet recently. So now we know why it was wet. The question is, why is this happening? There's sewage water. Oh, no. like really wet. oh, is it the pie that's leaking? No, I think because the toilet overflowed, it's leaking down now. But I thought you took the water out. I know, but I think it overflowed under the toilet. Look how wet it was. Like, there's no way it got that wet from this. You know right. what I mean? It's, it's so it all... must have been a problem to begin with. Yeah, I it's think... just we just didn't notice it. Yeah, but we gotta take the toilet off now. Oh no. I guess the when the previous owner owned this house, I guess it, it got so bad to a point where the water level was actually this high. Cause yeah, this was pretty bad. We just gotta figure it out and fix it together. That's how it works in this house. Yep. So my husband is actually gonna take the water out somehow from there. And I'm gonna just take all the stuff out from the bathroom so that uh, when we're removing the toilet, we can do it really easily. This is gonna be a long night, guys. So I just changed into something more comfortable and uh, something I wouldn't really mind getting dirtied. Um, a thought that came across my mind right now is I'm so, so thankful that this is happening at night uh, where, you know, we don't have to use the water as much and also Peter is sleeping. That way both of us can work on this problem together rather than just one person struggling to figure things out. So I'm so thankful for that. So anyway, this was not in the plans. This is happening. So let's do it. So we're on like the lowest toilet, uh, or one of actually one of the lowest drain uh, parts of the plumbing, the whole house plumbing, uh, which is this toilet because it actually goes under the subfloor or under this floor. So see how there's water still there, which means the water wasn't actually. I guess technically this is not a, a P trap or anything. This is just an elbow that goes like this. But because the water wasn't going down from the shower up top. 
it was coming down in the pipe and the water always goes the equilibrium or whatnot, right? So the water is putting pressure. I mean, the lowest points are coming up, which is what the water was spilling through here down to the basement. So the basement ceiling, it looked like it was coming from the ceiling, but it's actually coming from here. Now, this has been with for a while. Whoever lived here before had this problem for a long time. And never fixed the problem? I guess so. Actually, you can look right here. If you look right here, if you look at the angle, look. This whole thing was leaking. So it's, hap it's been happening for a while. You can see the, can you see the areas where it looks like it was leaking right there? You see the water spots that were lingering there? You still see that? Just gotta figure out where the trap, where the blockage is. Uh -huh. And fix that, but we don't know where the blockage is. We don't have like one of the like snake things. Uh, I guess we could always go buy one, but not at this time of night. I think it it's better if we just call the plumber and try to see if they can come out tomorrow. The problem is we can't. We won't be able to. We can't it. use the water until we at least make this go down. Because the water's got to drain. How do we do that? I don't know. So it looks like we're gonna have to have a plumber come out tomorrow but he's trying to figure out how we can at least have it flow down so that we can use the bathroom until then because there's no guarantee of when the plumber is going to be able to come out and we need water, especially in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully the sounds are not waking up Peter at all um, because sound does carry all over the house. So I'm hoping that uh, it's not too loud or at least he's too tired to wake up from it. All right, so I think that wraps it up for this video. I will see you guys in the next video and tell you guys exactly what we did and how we ended up fixing it. Until then, have a good night. See you guys next time.